Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Piki Choco and in today's video, we're gonna be hopping and diving into some pre-release slash first impressions of Kuki, a new resin banking system which is gaining a lot of hype because if it's implemented, it will totally enhance and improve the pre-farming experience and the overall ecosystem of Genshin, some interesting stuff shedding light on Yalan and early dendro planning, some 4 star and weapons for Ayaka banner. So before getting into that, just wanna ask if you want to enter the two blessings giveaway that has already started it's the top link in the description all right now that we're done talking about all the icing let's actually get into the video right now boom so firstly let's talk about the resin banking system so just a quick disclaimer so all of this is early info speculations predictions mostly based on my personal views but still i'm hoping as always that you're keeping those ninja eyes and ears active everyone knows how important resins are and the typical regeneration rate is around seven to eight minutes earlier we have discussed about increasing the original limit that is 160 resins but this banking system is kind of spicy now it's not possible to keep an accurate time track of every resin that you have generated thus making many players miss out on the extra resins or on their inactive days in simple words you don't get a single resin after 160 and well if we don't log in again for a day or two it's kind of a loss for the players so what if a system like banking or vault is created specially for resins meaning that if a player is inactive for a certain amount of time why not store that amount of resins which he can later use for the pre-farming or the bosses in no bad terms if a player is not active for one day after 160 resins store the extra amount into his account which he can later redeem and either convert it into fragiles or use as it is now a limit to these vault or bank is quite obvious because then players won't care to log in daily and would simply be inactive for weeks and even gain those resins so yeah yeah, limiter is obvious. Overall this sounds interesting but I'm hoping that at least even if they add or increase the overall limit of resins it would be awesome because the way bosses and farming and even pre-farming is increasing things are kind of becoming difficult and messy so yeah excited for these to happen sometime around the future. Now moving on to next bit of Ayaka's banner and the possible weapons after taking a close look at all the patterns of four stars and the elemental synergy the ones with a higher chance may be Razor and Rosaria and the ones with a lower chance maybe Sayu and Noel because the time gap for all of these four stars has been pretty insane especially Razor so yeah now moving on to the weapons I mean Ayaka's five star signature weapon is quite obvious but in addition to that Wolf's gravestone makes quite a sense and the reason being its occurrence the probability of Skyward Hub could also not be ignored but if we take a look at the weapon occurrence of course the gravestone looks quite obvious so kind of excited to see how much of a response does Ayaka's rerun receive especially when Kuki and Yalan are around the corner which makes me further move on to the topic of Kuki so talking about her role it looks like she may be the first electro healer whose secondary focus may be on the electro AOE damage but the main purpose healing of course a sword user that's basically clear from her official art so stats for Kuki she basically has 12,000 HP which is basically typical to any sword user especially the four stars and good luck farming rune serpent it's kind of challenging not talking about the interesting thing and that's talents the normal attacks are like a no-brainer simple and easy but her elemental and burst are the most interesting now the most interesting mechanic or state i should say is the sanctification where she basically makes a ring around her like barbara but this one basically deals electro damage plus healing only on the active character in very simple language and do note that it will be based on max hp so more focus on hp artifacts a bit of wordy terms here but i'll try to explain in simple language now do keep in mind that she was a shrine maiden whose foremost duty is to cleanse the evil and heal the weakened now her elemental burst it's like creating a pure area that will continuously deal electro damage which is also based on her max hp and it looks like she will get a bonus if she's not doing well so to sum everything up focusing on hp build best performance when hp is low and an active healing are the points that are making the community hyped up so i'm very excited and kind of intrigued to see what kind of hype and value these characters provide to the community now moving on to the last bit which is kind of itsy bitsy and brain tickling so as for the latest speculations i don't know why but it's being repeatedly suggested to the player base to make smart choices by highlighting the quote that your choices and actions will be impactful for the future choose your team wisely so maybe this is related to dendro because the back-to-back -back hydro five stars and a focus on multiple performance of electro so factors like these are intensifying and pressing the community thoughts about this being 
something related to dendro so maybe there might be a dendro related news coming soon i mean it might not just be characters but you know maybe dendro related mechanics or reactions or stuff like that so from all of this we could say that it's bit of a tricky situation and it will be very interesting to see what kind of choices do players make will they prefer reruns or go for the new lineups and most importantly how many primo gems will they save so that's basically it for today's video just thought i'll update you all on the latest news about cookie concept of resin banking and some real-time news and i hope it helped you so make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss on any latest news related to genshin like these as always i'll see you all in the next video with some interesting new news until then stay safe and stay picky